Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. Today we're going to be making some corned beef stuffed fried dumplings. Make sure you tap on that subscribe button, hit the bell for the notifications so you know when a brand new video has been uploaded. Let's get into the ingredients. We've got some all-purpose flour, baking powder, sugar, milk, water, and salt. Grab a small bowl and add your dry ingredients first, your all-purpose, your sugar, your salt. Knead the flour with your hands and then add your baking powder, add your milk, and slowly but surely start to add your water after you've already kneaded the flour. So all I'm doing right now is just using my hands to make sure that the flour is nicely kneaded. Um, some people use a rolling pin, but the best thing to do is actually use your hands in the beginning. So I slowly add the water a little bit at a time. I knead the flour with my hands. Just keep on adding the water a little bit by little bit. Knead it with your hands until you have a nice round ball of dough. There you go. So I'm going to show you my little secret. I like to use a rolling pin or my hand to knead the dough so it's nice and soft. I'm gonna cover it with a damp paper towel and allow it to rise and work on our corned beef and rice. We got a tin of corned beef, some black pepper, ketchup, and oh, oh what's this? Oh, my paper towel had fell over, but it's okay so, as long as it's covered. So I got the key to the bully beef. You know, we call it bully beef or corned beef. A lot of people don't know how to use this, but I'm just going to show you. All you got to do is line it up and keep on twisting until your can is open. Voila! Get yourself a small frying pan. Add your oil. Make sure your oil is heated for about one to two minutes before you start to add your onions, tomatoes, and green pepper. I saute that a little and I also like to add a little bit of ketchup in there and continue sauteing for at least 30 seconds to a minute before I add my corned beef. Now I don't really like the corned beef to be very shredded or minced so I tend to keep it very thick and chunky. So I do that and I add just a little bit of water, not too much because we don't want to make it into a soup, of course. I sprinkle some black pepper and then I cover it up. Now let's make our dumplings. I pinch off a little bit at a time and then I roll it into my hand. Continue rolling, continue rolling. And I make sure I form all of the dough balls first because sometimes it'll burn when you put one in there and then go to work on the rest. So I formed all of my dough balls. I lined them all up on a cutting board and then I add them into the frying pan. If you want a more detailed video for this, um, there is a video on my YouTube channel actually. I'll put the link in the description box. So I'm just flipping them over on all sides. Contrary to popular belief, you really don't need a lot of oil to make this happen. I never use a lot of oil. Um, I'm going to add my plantain into the pot with the oil right there. I'm coming back over to my fried plantain. I'm making sure that they're brown equally on all sides. And you really got to keep your eye on these because these can burn very easily. So flip them all over. Make sure your fire is on a low to medium as well. I have to mention that because you don't want to burn it on the outside and have raw dough on the inside. That's a result from your fire being too high. So remember, keep it low. And also make sure you check on those plantains because they have a tendency to burn when you're not looking. There goes our corned beef. I steamed that for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now I'm just frying the plantain and making sure I drain it on a paper towel so that we don't leave it all greasy. Our fried dumplings are almost ready. I'm gonna start taking some out of the frying pan now. And once they're all golden brown on all sides, we are now ready to eat. Mm, look at that. I love me some fried plantain. Now all I did was just make a little slit on the inside and I stuffed them each with some corned beef. Literally, that's all you have to do. Open it, stuff it with some corned beef. Some might fall, of course, but it's okay. That's just more for you. 
make a slit, open it up, and stuff them up with some corn beef. I also made some um, ackee and saltfish like this. You can do that with ackee and saltfish as well. It's delicious. And I also did find me a nice avocado pear, and I'm gonna open it and show you exactly what it looks like. Amazing, beautiful. So now we have our corned beef stuffed fry dumpling along with plantain and avocado pear. Make sure you subscribe, guys.